Oh my goodness. Oh honey. <gasps> I had my garage all the way open. I kind of see this little creature just walk past my garage and jump into my car. Oh my gosh. Immediately that night, I brought him a little bit of food. I talked to my husband a little bit about it. And so we decided to keep him in the garage that night. Immediate thought was, oh my goodness, he has mange. Hey honey, oh, hey honey, I can't <laughs> I can't touch you. I'm sorry, honey. I can't touch you. I have kids. I already have a dog. And I was like, if we want to help this dog, how are we going to do this to where we don't catch anything as well? I think he's probably a very pretty dog. He looked scared, defeated, just wore out the following day. We made the plan to take him to see the vet. <laughs> Look who's back from the vet. Let me see you. They pretty much told us that it looked like he'd been out there for many months. Oh, he's attached to the car. He jumped right back in. But we just found out this is not mange. It is just a really bad skin allergy to the fleas that he's, that have been nibbling on little guy. When we found out that he was not contagious, we pretty much immediately brought him in. <laughs> He's happy. That first week, he really started to get comfortable here. One of the first things we did was give him a bath. He had to have his medicated baths every two days. Okay, both their tails are wagging, so. <laughs> At the two week mark, I noticed that he started to play for the first time. And this was with a little stuffy. It definitely made me happy. It made me feel like I was doing something right, making me feel like the environment was good enough for him to come out of his shell and to play. Don't bite! Don't bite! <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> You're not looking so red no more. He's trying so hard to sit on my lap right now. <laughs> He gets into things. He's always rolling around. I feel like his personality's always kind of been there, but in the beginning, it was definitely a little bit more laid back. I definitely feel accomplished. That was a little bit too intense. That was a little too intense.